हेलो वेलकम अगेन वी आर सॉल्विंग गेट 2019 एरोस्पेस इंजीनियरिंग पेपर क्वेश्चन नंबर 26 टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 55 कैरी टू मार्क्स इच क्वेश्चन नंबर 26 इज द फॉलोइंग सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन इज इक्वल टू 2x minus y minus z is equal to 0 minus x plus 2y minus z is equal to 0 minus x minus y plus 2z is equal to 0 ऑप्शन ए हैज नो सॉल्यूशन ऑप्शन बी हैज ए यूनिक सॉल्यूशन ऑप्शन सी has three solution option d has an infinite number of solution so given linear equations are uh, 2x minus y minus z minus x plus 2y plus minus z and minus x minus y plus 2z is equal to zero all are zero okay so uh, the augmented matrix is 2 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 2 1 0 zero minus 1 minus 1 2 0 okay So applying R3 as 2R3 plus 1. So R3 as 2R3 plus 1 multiplying by 2 minus 2 plus 2 is 0 and minus 2 uh, minus 1 is minus 3 and uh, 4 uh, minus 1 is 3. Okay. Now uh, now on this matrix applying R2 as 2R2 plus 1. Uh, um, minus 2 plus 2 is 0 and 4 minus 1 is 3 and minus 2 uh, as uh, 2 plus 1 uh, minus 1 is minus 3 so this will be uh, the next matrix now applying uh, next operation r2 plus r3 to r3 so now this row will become 0 and this row will be same so now we can see that the bottom row is zero and each and every element of augmented matrix is zero so it means uh, it has infinite number of solutions okay next a supersonic flow in a constant area duct at mach number m1 and counters a ramp angle theta1 c figure 1 the resulting oblique shock with shock angle beta1 is then reflected from the top wall for the reflected shock the turn angle is theta 2 and shock angle is beta 2 so this is your uh, uh, shock wave and it is making an angle uh, beta 1 with this surface or with m1 okay and the, this is your reflected m2 and this is your beta this is theta this is your uh, increasing in this is your theta one. use the weak shock uh, solution from theta beta m plot shown in the figure 2 to uh, choose the uh, to choose the option from the following option a beta 1 uh, is greater than beta 2 option b beta 1 is smaller than beta 2 option c theta 1 is greater than theta 2 option d theta 1 is smaller than theta 2 so let us consider this uh, diagram and assuming shock wave shock wave means the max number m2 is uh, more than unity okay uh, okay max number is more than unity that will the uh, weak shock wave considering weak shock wave the m2 will be more than unity okay so this is your m1 and this is your beta1 okay and uh, these angle are equal so this is also beta 1 and this is also beta 1 okay okay this is also beta 1 okay this is beta 1 this is beta 1 this is beta 1 okay now after shock uh, there is deflection of uh, that uh, deflection of that velocity and uh, M2 make number appears, and uh, now from the uh, uh, law of reflection, angle of incidence is equal to angle of uh, reflection. So beta this uh, uh, the, uh, the angle of incidence is angle made by the wave with the normal. So these and the, this angle and this angle is equal. So these angle and these angle are also equal. So beta one is equal to beta. So these two angles are equal. Beta one. Okay. now uh, now this is your beta 1 and so this uh, will be your beta 1 uh, 
with the horizontal but the shock wave has been reflected sorry but the uh, wave uh, velocity the air has been reflected air or whatever it is uh, air has been reflected and uh, this is uh, stream gets deflection so uh, this angle is now uh, more than beta 1 because beta 1 is up to that place and th here it is for delta now beta 2 is here equal to beta 1 plus delta so delta deflection so beta 2 is more than beta 1 okay so after uh, oblique shock the this make uh, this uh, this stream get deflection and deflection is caused by angle delta so beta 2 will be more than beta 1 because this is your beta 1 next which of the following statement about the adverse yaw of an airplane is are correct P, it is caused by flow separation resulting from large rudder deflection Q. It is caused by dissimilar drag forces acting on two halves of the wings resulting from aileron deflection of same magnitude or it can be eliminated by ensuring that the upward deflection of an aileron is greater than the downward deflection of the upward aileron. Option A, P only, Option B, Q only. Option C, P and R only, Option D, Q and R only. Okay. So, uh, the yawing moment is like this. Okay. This is a vertical axis and this is a yawing moment. So, when drag on one side is more than the drag on uh, other side, then the yawing moment takes place. It is caused by dissimilar drag. Okay. So, on the two halves of the wing resulting from iron deflection of same angle. And, uh, it can be limited by ensuring that uh, a, uh, ensure by ensuring that uh, upward deflection of uh, one element is greater than downward deflection of opposite element because it makes the drag on two sides equal. Okay, so answer is option B. Q and R are correct. Next, in a turbojet engine comp the compressor outlet temperature increases with decreasing efficiency of the compressor. If the turbine inlet temperature remains constant with decreasing efficiency of compressor, the thrust specific fuel consumption of the engine. Option A decreases as the heat input lower is lower. Option B remains unchanged. Option C increases as the compressor needs more work input from the turbine. Option D decreases as the thrust produces higher. So when the compressor efficiency is uh, decreasing, so then this uh, isentropic curve shifts from 1 to 2, 1 to dash. And with the more degrees in compressor efficiency, this curve shifts to, towards this. Okay. So it means that we have to supply uh, lesser heat to reach that, that temperature. Okay. But uh, uh, this compressor is run by the turbine uh, which is treated as so the turbine has to supply the uh, more has to supply more work to that compressor okay so but uh, uh, so so this increase in uh, this increase in work is more prominent as compared to uh, is prominent as compared to the uh, lesser amount of heat energy okay so uh, the turbine uh, so the measure so the thrust specific fuel consumption of the uh, of the engine increases because fuel required is more for the same thrust because thrust is decreasing so we have to uh, if we have to generate same thrust then we have to supply more fuel okay okay because the compressor is consuming more work as uh, as uh, with the lower efficiency Okay, so this effect is more prominent which reduces the thrust and hence increases the so let us read the expression. As the efficiency of the compressor decreases, the uh, temperature leaving the compressor T2 dash is higher. So as T2 dash is uh, higher than T2, so less heat input is required for same inlet turbine temperature, but the compressor requires more work from turbine. This effect is more prominent which reduces the thrust and increases the specific energy. 